It never fails. You sit down to get ready to watch your favorite TV show, and then bam, your AFCI breaker trips, turning off all the power, leaving you in the dark to stub your toe while trying to find a flashlight. If that sounds like a familiar situation, then you may have been the victim of AFCI nuisance tripping. But don't worry, because today we're going to do a deep dive into what causes AFCI nuisance tripping and how we can solve this annoying issue once and for all. But first, before we talk about what needs to be done in order to fix this problem, it's really important to understand what's going on, why AFCIs work the way that they do, and why they're needed. An arc fault circuit interrupter, or sometimes called arc fault detection device, is a type of circuit breaker that stops the flow of electricity when it detects electric arcs or arc faults. Arc faults occur when electrical current inadvertently flows through an unintended path, which can create a potentially dangerous arc of electricity. These arcs can generate a lot of heat, which may ignite surrounding materials and cause a fire. An AFCI breaker is designed to recognize these arcs and immediately cut off the power to the circuit to prevent any damage. Now, you might be wondering how this is different than a standard breaker. Well, standard circuit breakers might not always detect these dangerous arcs because they are primarily designed to protect against short circuits and overloads. A normal circuit breaker will kick in when it detects more current flowing through the circuit than it's designed to handle. Arc faults may not draw enough electricity for a breaker to even notice that there's a problem. That's where AFCI protection comes in. AFCIs are specifically designed to detect arc faults caused by things like damaged wiring, loose connections, and faulty devices. And they're designed to react quickly in order to prevent any potential fires. You might also be wondering how these are different than GFCIs or ground fault circuit interrupters. So while AFCIs and GFCIs might seem similar, they serve very different purposes. GFCI protection is designed to protect people from electrical shock by detecting ground faults. On the other hand though, AFCIs focus on preventing electrical fires by detecting arc faults. Some circuits may require both AFCI and GFCI protection, and there are combination breakers available to provide both types of protection in a single device. Now, while all that sounds great from a safety perspective, this extra protection can kick in unnecessarily, which is probably the reason why you're watching this video in the first place. But before we talk about how to solve nuisance tripping specifically, I have to address one more thing, and that's whether or not AFCI breakers are actually required for your home. Well, the short answer is yes, uh, at least in most cases. The National Electrical Code has guidelines mandating AFCI protection for specific circuits in residential buildings. Also, AFCI requirements were first introduced way back in the 1999 edition of the NEC code, which is well over 20 years ago now. So AFCI requirements aren't new by any means. Now over time, the NEC has gradually expanded where protection is mandated, and as of the 2020 edition of the NEC, AFCI protection is necessary for most 120 volt single phase, 15 and 20 amp branch circuit supplying outlets or devices in areas like bedrooms, living rooms, hallways, and beyond. And if you're wondering, the 2023 NEC codebook has kept these locations the same, at least for now. Wow, okay, so I realized that was a lot of background on why AFCIs do what they do, but I think it's gonna help us tackle these notorious nuisance tripping problems. And if you're finding this video helpful so far, be sure to hit the like button. It really does help me out, thanks. So what specific situations cause the AFCI protection to kick in? First on the list are electronic devices. Many modern devices like computers, gaming consoles, and even some energy efficient light bulbs can generate electrical noise that AFCI breakers may misinterpret as a dangerous electrical fault. Second, long wire runs might be the culprit. As wires get longer, they're more likely to pick up electrical noise or exhibit increased capacitance, which can lead to nuisance tripping. So if you encounter a situation where you always seem to be tripping an AFCI breaker when you're using an extension cord, the extension cord itself might be the issue. Third, there could be damaged wires inside of the wall that you can't see. Damaged wiring can happen when the home is first built or over time as things are added to walls like hanging pictures or TVs. And last but not least, poor connections are also a common cause. So loose or corroded connections can create small intermittent arcs that may trigger your AFCI breaker. Now those are the most common reasons, but there are some less frequent causes you should be aware of too, such as circuit overloading. An overloaded circuit can occasionally result in nuisance tripping but it's relatively rare. Overloading happens when too many devices are connected to a single circuit, drawing more current than the breaker is designed to handle. An overload is more likely to trip a breaker for typical safety reasons though, than it is for our scenario. Another less common cause involves non-compliant devices. So some older or defective electrical devices might generate actual arc faults inside them, 
causing the AFC breaker to trip correctly, but these will give the appearance of a nuisance trip. Also, sometimes non-FCC compliant devices can cause issues too. Now, does that sound weird? Well, let me explain. AFCIs are designed to be sensitive to changes in the electromagnetic field and the waveform of the electrical current. As it so happens, the Federal Communications Commission, or the FCC, regulates the electromagnetic emissions of electronic devices to ensure that they don't interfere with other electronic devices, and that can include AFCIs. So, if a device doesn't comply with these regulations, it can produce high levels of electromagnetic interference, including radio wave interference, that can totally confuse AFCI protection. An example of an offending device could be something as simple as a cell phone charger that you ended up picking up at a gas station. Remember, cheaper devices usually sacrifice something, so always buy quality whenever you can. Simply put, AFCIs use advanced electronics to constantly monitor the circuit for arc faults. They're designed to distinguish between normal electrical arcs like those caused by flicking on a light switch and dangerous arcs that might start a fire. When the AFCI detects a potentially hazardous arc, it quickly cuts off the power to the circuit to prevent any harm. However, like we talked about earlier, certain conditions like electrical noise or poor connections can cause the AFCI to misinterpret the situation and trip when it's not necessary, which creates a nuisance trip. Now that we've covered our bases, let's dive into the solutions and best practices. Also, it's crucial to recognize your limits when it comes to electrical work, so if you ever feel uncertain about a certain task or feel uneasy about it, be sure to contact a licensed electrician to help you handle the job. All right, so the simplest and most cost-effective solution is to try isolating the device that may be causing the nuisance trips. You can do this by unplugging all the devices on the affected circuit and plug them back in one by one to identify which one is causing the issue. Once you found the culprit, consider replacing it with a more modern and compliant device. Now, if a device isn't the issue, you'll need to inspect and repair the wiring or the connections themselves. But before you begin, ensure that the power is turned off at the breaker for your safety. Look for any loose connections, damaged wires, or signs of arcing, like burn marks or melted wire. If you spot anything out of the ordinary, tighten the connections or replace the damaged areas. Another more expensive option is to upgrade your AFCI breakers. Newer models feature enhanced technology that's less prone to tripping due to electrical noise. And as a general rule of thumb, older devices and older AFCI protection are more likely to suffer from nuisance tripping than newer technology. And when you think about it, it makes a lot of sense because electronic devices tend to improve over time. Technology that's great today may have been pretty awful when it first came out. In more extreme cases, completely rewiring the affected circuit may be necessary. And again, remember to only tackle this level of work if you're comfortable and qualified. Taking on AFCI nuisance tripping can be aggravating and inconvenient, but fixing the root cause and not simply trying to bypass the protection is important for the safety of your home and family. If you follow the tips in this video, you can alleviate the stress and worry caused by frequent tripping and ultimately enjoy a safer and more reliable home electrical system. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. And to learn even more about related topics, be sure to check out these other videos here. Otherwise, I want to say thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.